one for the day. And put, you know, right there. Share the lead. I mean, you, you take this round and be okay with it. Yeah. Um, iffy. I mean, uh, I knew that even par was a really good score starting the day, but when I get to seven under for the tournament, I don't really want to finish at four under, no matter where you're playing. So. Um, the course was still gettable enough to where I could have finished, you know, I, I, I could have played even par from that, that fourth hole on. Um, just kind of didn't drive the ball extremely well. And then uh, when I had my opportunities, you know, I, I had two eagle putts that I three putted. So I had four three putts today. And, and that's going to happen out here. And, and realizing that is part of how you move on quickly. But two of them were unforced and shouldn't have happened. The one on 12 and the one on four, there's not a whole lot I could have done about it on four, and uh, 12 was about a 60-yard putt. So um, I'm okay with those, but the other two are unforced on the greens. I feel good with the putter. I hit good putts. Um, I just need to have some more opportunities um, on these harder holes, and, and I miss the fairway on some of them. Second major in a row, you're in right position. How does it win? How does That's it going tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think as I sleep on it and, and, and wake up, there will certainly be some nerves. It's not like I'm a veteran at this by any means. Um, but by the time we tee off, if, uh, if I can convince myself that, that you know, I'm, I'm free rolling, I've got one of these, and the other guys are trying to chase their first, I know how hard it is to chase your first and, and to close it out. So if we can use that winning formula we had back in April um, mentally, then all it comes down to is can I just pull off the shots and, it, and it's all an execution. And my execution hasn't been phenomenal this week. I've saved it with some some mid-range and long putting. Um, but you can't rely on that, especially on a Sunday at, at a U.S. Open. I mean, that's as hard of a golf course as you're going to see uh, every every year. So um, it, I'm going to need to execute a little bit better because mentally I think I'll be um, strong enough to pull it off. So you had some um, pretty short putts. 8, 17, 18, I think, from breaking from right to left, that were inside, I think, 4 or 5 feet. Was it kind of the speed or the, what, what kind of lag? I hit really good putts. I, uh, I had one on 4, 8, and, and 16, and, uh, and I had to play all of them well outside the hole from that range, which makes them not really a, they're not a 80% kind of putt, they're a 50-50 kind of putt when they're, when they're that challenging. Um, with the way uh, the, the green sped up today and the way they were feeling, uh, it's, we, we called it a, an Augusta putt, you know, where, where you, a lot of times on those short putts have to feed it outside the hole um, and just kind of die it in. And, and I have great feel on those kind of putts. I missed them all in the same place today because out here, even though it seems like they're going to be wicked fast off the bat and, and take a consistent break, they almost, you have to firm them because then they hit like a halting point and then dive on, on, on almost like a 90 degree angle. It's, uh, it's tricky because of the, the gravel, poana, fescue, whatever, whatever it is on these, these greens, greens that are drying up. Um, they, they putt a little different on those shorter putts. And I didn't have many of those downhiller ones, uh, the downhill ones, the first two days. So today I really um, I was able to see that. But it's tough to trust hitting those any, any harder than I am. Um, because you know, if, if it misses and you hit it any firmer, you're going to have one that's further coming back. You talked about the, the importance of patience. Right,